welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this power course lesson, I want to show you how you can convert uh, a curve which is going to be the top of the mesh uh, and also a series of curves which is going to be the location of the relaxed mesh. We can connect it to here and then make a column uh, to design a parametric mesh. Here you can also increase the distance of the offset at the top we have at the top here and also you can move it even upwards if you want to just give it a little bit uh, of a movement towards the top and make a more smooth output. Here you can see that if I just move this up it's going to adapt so the mesh is going to be updated towards these sections. Also for the sections you can see that if I move them up and down it's going to update the final results and we can even make this a little bit bigger and the mesh is going to change. Uh, at the end we can smooth the mesh with the Viva World plugin and if I go to the shaded mode you can see the final mesh which is really interesting because you can just uh, design everything with a curve at the top, a series of curve at the uh, different heights and get the final mesh. So let me show you here that we can just design everything with that. So for example if I just draw a rectangle and draw two circles here and let me just bring this a little bit up and also give these a little bit of a height because they have to be uh, have a height uh, based on the XY plane and let's give this at the top curve and this one as the sections for the columns. And here you can see how easy it is to get the final mesh. And I can just change the outputs by changing these sections. So for example, maybe we just want to scale these a little bit, make it smaller and maybe bring this a little bit down. The good thing about Grasshopper is that you can use the parametric design to design actually anything. Maybe we just want to make this smaller and also we just don't want the height. We just want some extension uh, after uh, for the top part. So I'm going to also put that to a really small number so you can see that you can control that too. Uh, we can bake the mesh again and get the final results. So uh, this uh, short tutorial is going to show you how this algorithm works and how you can use it in your projects. And let's get started.